ride home out or something? Listen, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Would you mind taking a walk for a bit? What's going on? I came home to spend time with you, try to work things out. It can wait. Hold on, looks like you need my help. No, stop! What are you doing? I told you to come back later. Come back later? And what would I come back to? Don't take it down! Don't? I can't have a noose hanging in my household. Your household. Right. This is just plain childish, Amanda. You've never done this before. Like you would know? When was the last time you asked me about how I was feeling? We'll never be able to untie that. I knew things were bad. But when do we jump to this? Amanda! Get off of me! I'm trying to help you. You might find out what I want first. That thing is grotesque. How did you plan on going through with it? You weren't supposed to be here. Damn it, Amanda. I live here. We live here. This is exactly where I'm supposed to be. This is ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. I don't know what to say. I want out of this. You didn't have to resort to suicide. Look at it, Amanda. That is a noose hanging from our ceiling. I don't think I have any other options. What? You never would have allowed this to end. That's not true. Yes, it is. You know it is. We could have done it, Amanda. We could have made it work. No, we tried. We put everything we had into this and it's just not working. But this is not the only way out. It's not like I'd be leaving anything of value behind. It's not like we have kids. What about our marriage? What about our love? I'm trying to keep this together because I love you. You don't love me. You've tricked yourself into thinking that so that you can maintain this ideal. This marriage is just another achievement to add to your list. It never mattered who it was with. How can you call it that? You don't love me. And I don't love you. Not anymore. It's been that way for a long time and you won't see it. Do you remember the day we got engaged, Amanda? By the lake? That was a long time ago. I promised I would always protect you. That I would never leave your side. That I'd love you until the end of time, and even then I wouldn't stop. Yes, I remember. You were young. We both were. We didn't really know what we were talking about. No, Amanda. I knew exactly what I was talking about. I was making a commitment to see this through no matter what happened. God knows I wasn't expecting this. But I always thought you'd keep at it with me. Failure's a part of life, Robert. We failed at this, and there's no denying it anymore. So what if it's over? Is life that bad that you want to end it? And what do you suggest? Most people get divorced. You're right, most people do. That's what your parents did. We made a promise, Amanda, an oath, remember? So death do us part? Yes, Robert, I remember. Don't do it, Amanda, I need you. You're strangling me. Little by little, our entire lives, you've been trying to build your idea of the perfect life, and this marriage is the most important part of it. You would control me into the day we died. So it's over. Don't you think so? Okay. You never once in your life gave me any hint that you were suicidal. Are you so confident that you know everything about me? If you did, do you think we'd be having this problem? I'm not suicidal, Robert. You're not. No. 
I don't have the least desire to end my life, only to end this marriage. Right. Then what's the noose for? The noose is for you. What? But <laughs> I don't want to kill myself. And yet you can't live with yourself if you become one of the millions of divorcees. I can't live without you, Amanda. There's a difference. There is a difference, but you don't understand. I'm already packed. I'm going to leave. I don't want you to follow me or try some grand final romantic gesture. It's over. I honestly hope the best for you. And if you can get through this, then by all means, go out there and live your life. But don't come to me and try to sell me your bullshit anymore because I'm sick of it. It's not bullshit, Amanda, I swear. We're past that argument already. Bye, Robert. It's there if you need it. Prescribed under the mister, we had survived to turn on the history channel and ask our esteemed panel why are we alive. And here's how they reply: Yo, what happens when two substances collide? And by all accounts, you really should have died.